Well, you know, one thing I know for sure is that they must have been thinking they were going to break into Casey Kasem's Top 40 Countdown on their debut record, Kill 'Em All. They were really going straight for the hit single with the song Anesthesia Pulling Teeth. Can I got to tell you, a five minute long bass solo, it's a ticket to commercial success. I, you know, um, and, and uh, being a bass solo myself, that song is one of the great moments in rock history for the electric bass guitar. Cliff Burton was an outstanding, superb, deep, and wicked virtuoso of a bass player. Um, in rock music, the majority of bass solos you hear are self-indulgent, overly technical, show-offy, and mostly kind of boring, you know? Um, every Cliff Burton bass solo I've ever heard is a soulful, psychedelic, head-banging expression that rocks your world, trips your brain out, and gets the house rocking. A beautiful piece of music played by an awesome rocker of a young man, a masterpiece of a human being. And when I hear him play, I hear a dude that knew his serious musician who delved into it with all the love and passion that is obvious in his playing. Um, the worst tragedy that could ever happen to anyone, in my opinion, is that when they die, they never sang their song that was inside of them. They never gave the gift that was inside of them. But the beautiful opposite of that is that when you, if you pass away and you know that you sang your song, you gave your gift, which is what Cliff Burton did, then that is the greatest accomplishment that I could ever hope for anybody. The space that he created in the history of music will last forever. No one else can ever fill it. He was one of a kind and I can never listen to any Metallica record without thinking of him. It is clear that the gift he gave lives on in that band's music, be he live or be he dead. And I say, God bless Cliff Burton, he rules. When I hear